So in this exercise, um, I'm on page 35 on your book, and although we went a little bit over uh, how to divide the square and how to subdivide every one of them by finding the center and the center and the center one and, um, you know, many times. Uh, the most important part that I'm going to cover here is probably how do you do uh, foreshortening, okay? Which lines will indicate that the top that you have in front of you is exactly the same size over and over until you get to the end. As you can see, it starts getting very, um, you know, kind of it doesn't look anymore like a cube, but it starts getting uh, distorted as it goes to the horizon. So the best thing to do is to pretty much follow the rule, but also eyeball uh, how, you know, the, the, the pages before it talk about proportion. So proportion, between proportion and foreshortening is where you have to make up your mind for your object to look realistic. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to use this one, but I don't need, um, you know, how this is rectangular shape. I'm going to make it a square first. I'm not going to write on that one, but I'm going to draw, um, you know, on my paper first. Let me put it a little lower. And I am going to make that cube into a more square cube. Okay, so the first paper here, I have remembered my vanishing point and my horizon line. So to explain it, both ways for the two-point perspective and the one-point perspective follows the same uh, rule, but I'm just going to do this one. So I'm going to make this a little bit more as a cube, okay? Uh, I can also come find the center, extend, and find the center again. But let's just make it a little bit more of a proportional cube. And I will say somewhere in here, I'll take a little part out. Remember, verticals are always vertical with the edge of the page. And horizontal lines are always parallel to your horizon, oops, and this is the best part, I could stop now and start erasing, but it's easier just to put another piece of paper and clean up, so now I pretty much have, as you can see, a more boxy box minus those two, alright, so what I'm going to do and because it's so little, I can just erase actually this and this, just so I don't have to spend another piece of paper. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go from corner to corner. And corner to corner. And this is the way that I find the center of my box going back into the vanishing point, okay? And over here too. So it's not quite divided in excellent equal parts, but it's almost. Oops. So here I think I'm more to the. You see how I moved there? I should do it with the transparent. Um, Okay, now I can also again find this part and in here, all right, and again I can subdivide this one. Now, if I want to emulate or pretend that this is a box that is twice as long as its height, I can go from this, let me uh, mark my vanishing points, lines, 
and vanishing points lines okay and I'm gonna put another piece of paper here so you will see my box there all right I just made this one like it's actually the one on the side there. Now, don't worry about this, you know. You know this one is the right, that one is the wrong. So instead of start erasing and, you know, making a big mess in there, it's just better just to leave it, put another piece of paper. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make another piece of paper on top of it. Again, vanishing point. And horizon in case that it moves. Okay, you can also, as I said, you can put another tape on the bottom. Now, I go from this corner all the way by the time I cross this line. Okay. Notice that I'm passing through here, from here to there, okay? So let me do it again. So I'm passing from the back, all right? And now again, parallel to the line. And I can double the length of my box. And remember, it's foreshortened, so it kind of gets quite distorted as you approach the vanishing point, okay? So now, visually, I have one height by two width, pretty much. All right? And again, the one on the back, notice that it doesn't happen doesn't pass through this one, but that one. So the one on the back again, I can subdivide it. The box on, only the box on the back. And it should match this, 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 and this into my vanishing point, all right? And again, I have all the subdivisions that I need. So this way, okay, you have the box on the back that in perspective is the same size as the box in the front. 